Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are playing a little bit of Doki Doki today. I've been wanting to play the game for mm, a long while, and I thought it was perfect. I'm sorry for you no know, weird camp because I didn't have that to buy the mic. So my name, my name, my name, listen. It is not my real name. Wink, wink. I see an annoying girl running towards me from a distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. You know the girl of friend you'd never see yourself making totally today, but it's just kind of wrong works out because you know them each other so long. We just to walk to school together on days like this but starting around high school she would oversleep more and more frequently and I never get tired of working. I and I got tired of it. Sorry, my English is not the best it can be. But if she got to check after me like this, I almost feel better off running away. However, I just sigh and idle in front of the crosswalk and let Yori catch up to me. He! I overslept again! But I caught up to you this time. Maybe but only because I decided to wait for you. Eh, you're so... Oh, uh, you say that like we are thinking about ignoring me. That means warfare. This means warfare. Well, if people stare at you for attracting weird, then I don't want them to think we are a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean if you wanted to be. Whatever you say, Sayori. Hey! We cross the street together and make our way to the school. As we draw near, the street becomes increasingly spacious with other students making their daily day communes. By the way, Walker, have you decided on a club to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Hey, that's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. I did? I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I distinctively go along with everything she goes on about. The Yor likes to worry a little, too, a little bit too much about me when I'm perfectly content just getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Mm -hmm. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I die at the thought of you becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. I'll look at a few clubs make you happy, if it makes sense. No promises though. Well, you at least promise me you will look a little. Yeah, I guess I, I'll promise you that. Yay! Why do I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl? 
More than that, I'm surprised I even let myself relate to her. I guess seeing her worrying so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit, even if she does not exactly everything inside of her mind. I'm sorry for the English, I know it could be hard to understand. The school day is as ordinary as it as ever and is over before I know it. After I pick up my things, I start blanking at the wall looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs Sayori wants me to check out check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello? Sayori? Sayori must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. I look around and realize that I'm the only one left in the class. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I saw you just sitting here and spacing out so I came in. Honestly, you're even worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait, wait up for me if it's going to make you late for your to your own club. Well, I thought you may need some encouragement, so I thought you would, you know, well that you could come to my club. Siori, yay! There is no way I'm going to your club. Hey, mini. Siori is is voice president of the literature club. Not that I was even aware that she had any interest in literature. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun helping start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she instant the title of vice president. That said, my interest in literature is greatly to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Come on, please. Why do you care so much about Anyway, well, I kind of told the club yesterday I could bring a new member. And Natsuki made cupcakes and in everything. Hey! Don't make make promises you can't keep. I can't tell Siori it's really that much of an airhead. Or if she's so comical as to how plan all of this out. I can tell if Siori is really that much of an airhead or if she's so economical as to know how to plan all of it out. I let out a long sigh. <laughs> Fine, I'll stop but for a cupcake only. Yay, let's go! And that today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. The objective to follow Sayori around across the school and upstairs a section of the school I rarely visit. Behind being generally used for third year classes and activities. Sayori full of energy swings open the classroom door. Everyone the, the new member is here. I told you don't call me a new member. E I glance around the room. Welcome to the Letitia Club. It's a place of meet you all. Siori always says nice things about you. Siori, you brought a boy to kill the atmosphere. Ah, uh, Wilford, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club. All words escape my 
in this status. The, the, this lab is full of incredibly cute girls. What are you looking at? If you want to say something, say it. Sorry, Natsuki. <clears throat> the girl with the short accent whose name is apparently Natsuki is one I don't recognize. The girl makes me think that she's probably a first year. She is also the one who made cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Sayori says deep quietly into my ear, then turns back towards the other girls. Anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yori, the smart one in the club. The don't say that things like that. Yori, who appears compar comparable, more matter and time, seems to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Tatsuki. Uh, well, it's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, isn't that right? That's right, it's great to see you again, Robert. Monica smiles. We don't know each other. Well, we re really talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in the class, smart, beautiful, and active. So having her smile at me so genuinely feels a little you too, Monica. Come sit down, Wolfert. We made room for you at the table so you can sit next to me or Monica. I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. Then how about I make some tea as well? The girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. As Sayori meet As Sayori manage it's been winded. As Sayori As Yori mentioned, it has been widened so that there is one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yori walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a tray, a wrapped tray, and Yori opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tra tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Oh! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn with icing and the little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! I have no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. Uh, well, you know, just hurry and take one. Sayori so grabs one first, then Monica, I follow. It's delicious! Sayori so talks with her mouth full and already managed to get icing on her face. I turned the cupcake around in, the, in my fingers looking for the best angle to bite down. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. Is she waiting for me to take a bite? I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wondered if 
she made it herself. That is really good. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Why are you thanking me? It's not like I have haven't I heard that something before? My name for you or anything? Hey, I thought you technically did say your said. Well, I meant, but not for you, you. But not for you, you. But not for you, no, you dummy. All right, all right. I give up on Natsuki weird logic and dismiss the conversation. Yori returns to the table carrying a tea set. She carefully places the teacup in front of each of us before sitting down the teapot next to the teacup's tray. You keep a whole tea set in the classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, uh, I guess. Don't let yourself get intimidated. You're just trying to impress you. Eh, hey, that, that's not... Instantly, Yuri looks away. I mean that you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading may not be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow, smiled at me, then smiled at me. So, what made you consider the Instagram? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I should tell Monica I was practically dragged here by Shiori. Well, I haven't joined any club yet and Shiori seemed really happy here, so that's okay, don't be embarrassed. Well, make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the leadership club, it is my duty to make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I am surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member or form any of the major clubs. Weren't you the leader of the debate club last year? Ah, well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all of the politics around the major club. Feels like nothing but arguing about the budget and publicity and how to prepare events for events. I'd make ra- ra- I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special of it. And if I encourage others to get into literature, then I fulfill my that dream. Monica really is great. Is is a great leader. Yuri also knows in agreement. Then I'm surprised that there are more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start new clubs. Yeah, could put you could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Example when it's someone that doesn't grab your attention like Litis, you have to work hard to convince people that you are both fun and work well work well. But it makes school events like the festival much more important. I'm confident that we can already grow the club before we graduate. Right everyone. Yay! Well do our best. You know it. Everybody that word agrees. Sorry but that word. It's a tongue tire. I cannot say it. Such different girls all interested in the same goal. 
Monica must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joint. Though I, though I still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. So Wilfred, what kind of things do you read, like to read? Well, uh, considering how little I'll, I've read in these past few years, I really have a good way of an on- answering that. Manga. I mutter quietly to myself half jokes. Natsuki's head suddenly picks up. It looks like she wants to say something but she keeps it quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well that can can well that can change. What I'm saying I spoke with thinking of the senior research mark. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well let's see. Yuri tracks the rim of her teacup of her feet. My favorite are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy world. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. Telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yori goes on clearing passion about her read. She seemed to reserve and time since the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books and not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Yet, isn't it amazing how writers can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack for imagination to complexity throw you in a loop? Completely throw you. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of water lately. Ah, uh, I read a water book once. I decided to grasp something I can relate to at the minimum level. At this rate, Yori may as well be having a conversation with a rock. Really, I wouldn't expect that, Yori. For someone as gentle as you, I guess you could. But if a story makes me think or take me to another world, then I really can't put it down. Surely horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world if a one only for a brief moment. Uh, I hate horror. Oh, what is that? Well, it's just Hatsuki's eyes that dart over to me for a split second. Never mind, that's right, you're usually like to write about cute things, don't you, that's okay. What? What gave you that idea? You left that piece of scrap paper behind last love me. It looks like you were working on a pump coat. Don't say it out loud and give that back. I'm fine. In your cupcakes, your pose. Everything you do is just as cute as you are. Thumbs up behind Natsuki and puts her arms on her shoulders. Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess some, something, sometimes. Why do you care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometimes? No, Natsuki averts her eyes. You won't like them. I really can't write to yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing the level of writing takes more than just condensed. If the trust from a writer is a writer's own one on self. You must be willing to open yourself to your writers, exposing your val- valuable and showing ev- even that deep reach of your heart. Do you have a little 
Uh, do you have a written example to your read? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help me so you feel confident enough to share us. Mm, I guess that's the same for you, Yuri. Ah, uh, I want to read everybody's poems. Or sit in silence for a moment. Okay, I heard an idea, everyone. That you can just look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write poem, poem for your, of your own. Then next time we meet, we'll all share them with each other. That way, everybody is even. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Plus, now that we have a new member, I think it will help us at all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. It's, it's that right, Wilfred? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on, there is still one problem. E, what's that? Now, that we're back to the original topic of me joining the Ladies Club. I firstly came front with what's been on my mind for the entire time. I'd never said I would join the club. Shiori may have convinced me to stop, but I never made any decision. I still haven't other clubs to, to look at. Um, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But but I'm sorry I thought <clears throat> Well Brad, you all I'm defenseless against these girls. How I'm how am I supposed to make a clear headed decision when it's been this? This that is if writing poem is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay. I've decided it. I'll join the literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes, I'm so happy. She already wraps her arms around me and jumps up and down. Yay. Hey. You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pst. Then we make it official. Welcome to the Lit Club. Ah, uh, thank you, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on this good note. Everybody remember? to tonight's assignments. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can, co can all share. Monica looks over for a one moment. Wilfred, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. E Yay! And I really impressed the class star with Monica with my mediocre writing skills. I really feel the anxiety welling up inside of me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit chat as Yuri and Natsuki clear up the, their food. Hey, Wilfred, since we are already here, do you want to walk home with me together? That's right, Yuri. I never walk home together anyway because she always stays after school for class. Sure, may, may as well. Yay! Okay, everybody, I think that's enough for today. Thank you for watching, and I think I will be back for another episode soon enough.